All right, this is Love Letters to Yourself, Scorpio. We're going to start off with the first card. Um, something lovable about yourself. We have the King of Cups. King of Cups is using head over heart and love, compassionate about calming partners, um, long-term relationship, bossy friends, dominating friends, lovers, wise friends, cold-hearted, undependable. Um, so, unexpected proposal. Somebody's gonna propose. It's gonna be weird. Somebody's gonna be jealous. Somebody's gonna be jealous. But I think it's like a proposal of like a situation ship. Making it more stable, more sensitive. Um, so something admirable about yourself. We have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Excited and passion and love, uh, flirtation, romance, attraction, new relationships, romantic, inventiveness, um, twitted. Uh, affection so there's a mutual agreement here like I said um, that you're kind of gonna run the show okay you're gonna run the show on bases that you know what you're doing okay which is fine it's mostly everything but you, you get what I'm saying um, <laughs> your partner can do whatever they want within the lenience of the fucking agreement um, but yeah, you're you're kind of a powerhouse, and you need that support. You know, it's that type of thing. It's psychologically imperative. Like you don't have support. Um, so something you should give yourself credit for. We have the two of wands in reverse. Two of wands in reverse is a discontentment with achievements. Discovering the grass isn't always greener. Um, getting what you want and still being unhappy unhealthy habits this cat is an unhealthy habit uh, my cat casino is a feral one that I brought back and he's being a terrorist what are you doing you wanna go play with the birds outside yeah he's impatient he'll go play with birds outside in a minute so um, he can have fun um, he never catches one. He just plays with them. Uh, he likes falling them in the sky. He thinks he's a bird too. But anyway. I digress. Anyway. So how can you improve the love you give yourself? We have the star card here. So optimistic about love life. Healing from past wounds. Happiness. Acceptance. And developing relationships. Love. Trust. Self-expression. Deepening of a happy relationship or romance. We have 9 to 10 months. So it could be that your relationship is 9 to 10 months old. Or you've seen somebody for 9 to 10 months. And it's just now getting to the next milestone. Or it might need 9 to 10 months. And then it could be kaputs or to the next level. You know, it, it's weird. But um, that came to me. I, I don't know what it means. Okay. So we have emotional maturity, we have lucky in love, and we have futuristic, whatever that means. Okay, so we have regret, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. We have a knife, we have pain, backstabbing, betrayal, a knife, um, <laughs> uninterested. We have toxic, um, constant drama, codependent behavior, not good for you, um, unbothered. We have roll the dice, take a chance, risk, leap of faith, and strategy. Uh, we have between the lines, we have hidden meaning, vague spectacle, and we have indentation. Uh, manifestation. We have success. We have independence. We have empty void, feeling dead inside in general. Isn't that all of us? Um, offer of love, relationship, uh, the weight. We have somebody stringing you along. We have legal matters, marriage license, divorce papers, getting a lawyer. We have partying, staying out all night. In it for a good time, always playing the field. 
and a leap of faith. Okay, so you could be taking a leap of faith with somebody who is a polar opposite of you, um, somebody who brings a different aspect to your life or a different aspect to the table, so that you have <laughs> a different aspect to look at a new, like, You're okay. You have a new um, prospect to look at or a new um, perception to look at. So you can see all forms of how it looks to you and then to your partner. And that's what you want. Um, also, sometimes you need like a partner to tell you if something's too extreme or when it's time to like quit um, fighting for something that's not really going anywhere. Like, you need somebody who is kind of a referee in certain cases and your best friend in certain cases. That's what I meant. So, anyway, Scorpio, hopefully this helped you out. And this gives you kind of, like, a, 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 a goal to look forward to or something to look forward to as far as dating is concerned. This person might be opposite of you. Or they might like to party, dance, or do other things that you yourself are probably more stable and you like working or something to that effect, or vice versa. So, um, it, it, it could be just polar opposites. One of you likes to work, the other one likes to party, you know. Or you both like to party, you both like to work. Could be that situation as well. Anyway, Scorpio, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. You find what you're looking for, and, you know, have a good, have a good time looking for it, right? Um, I will see you here in the next video. Take Take care of yourself, take care of everyone, and I will see you here in the next video. Alright, bye.